Do you ever wonder who's behind all of the social media and videos that you see from SNHU on campus? Well, today I'm here with a couple of students from the SNHU on campus team, and we're gonna talk exactly about what's new on campus is, what they do, and how they get involved with students here on campus. Welcome, my name is Amanda Goyet, and I'm the co-producer of this co-design podcast, and today I'm here with... I'm Laura Haas. And I'm Justin Spingle. And what are your positions on the SNHU on-campus team? We are both social media creators and assistants for the SNU on-campus team. Okay, so obviously I want to start off by asking, what is SNU on-campus? <laughs> so SNU on-campus is the overarching social media for all the on-campus happenings at SNU. We cover athletics, we cover weekly events, and we cover student spotlights. Basically anything that happens on campus, we're covering. Okay. And what is the main goal of SNU on campus, Laura? The goal of SNU on campus is just to create awareness about thing that's, things that are happening on campus. Um, a lot of times events will happen and students will say, oh, I didn't even know about that. Uh, so we definitely post beforehand about things happening, but then when we cover it, we create great video montages and things like that to show all of the great things that happened there, how much fun people had, just to get that awareness out and get that student engagement. How does being on the SNU on campus team help you guys for your future? For me, it's about the teamwork and the environment and the professional communication. I've never been like a part of a team professionally, so this has given me that experience and that learning of what it's going to be like when I go into a team of my own and when I go into my marketing. Um, for me, I, my major is communications, and I really do want to work in social media, content creation, and just communications in general, so this is a great first step. I really like sports, I play volleyball here, and I cover a lot of the sports games, creating hype reels for them. Um, so that's definitely, it, it's very fun for me, um, and it's gonna help me in the future tremendously. So obviously you guys cover a huge variety of things that go on on campus, so what has been your favorite thing that you've covered? So we just covered the Pen and Pursuit Awards, which are given to students who have overcome adversity and have found their success here at SNU. That was just a very fulfilling and accomplishing thing to do during the interview, getting the B-roll and hearing their story, and being able to share their story with others was just a very happy and fulfilling thing for us to do. I agree with them. Um, but for me, I have two things that are my favorite things to do. First are sports hype reels. I get to really just take creative liberty and make it however I want it to be, and that's so fun for me. And then my second are more personality pieces of myself. I do TikToks where I just go up to random students and ask them questions either about SNU or something about themselves or anything like that. And those are super fun for me because I get to bring my personality into it, um, but still keep it nice and creative. Nice. And I wanted to ask you both, what advice do you have for students who might want to join this new on-campus team? And if so, who do they contact? Um, definitely, if you're interested, uh, come join the team. Everybody here is so welcoming and helpful. We're all here just to get better and make better content at the end of the day. Um, if you're interested, contact Steve Boucher. Uh, he'll definitely um, <laughs> answer you. <laughs> and yeah, it's a, it's a great environment to work in. For me, it doesn't feel like work at all and it's so fun and fulfilling, so definitely come join the team. I would definitely just say go for it. It's a lot of fun. I've learned so many things. It's been extremely beneficial. Everyone who's a part of the team is just extremely supportive. They'll always help you. They'll always get you where you need to be. And if you want to go for it, contact Steve Boucher. So obviously, I'm sure there's a lot of obstacles being on this team, so what are some of the obstacles you both have faced? Do you want to go first? Sure. <laughs> So the biggest obstacle so far has just been the sheer amount of work and like events that we cover. Sometimes there's so many things that happen on campus in one week that you want to cover everything, but you have to pick and choose what you want to cover. So sometimes you have to do the biggest thing, but you want to bring attention to another thing. So you kind of have to just balance out what you can and can't do. Yeah, I would definitely second that. Um, there's so much happening on campus and we just kind of have to pick and choose which one we're gonna um, do. And we also have pretty hard deadlines, just like in the real world, we have to get our work in. Um, so kind of just learning that time management. Uh, we have about a week, sometimes it's a couple, like a day or two when you're trying to push something out quicker. Um, obviously there's leeway and Steve and Courtney and our whole team are gonna be um, lenient on some things, but we also have to learn those skills, learn that time management, um, because it will be used in our future. For sure, for sure. 
So I just wanted to thank you guys both for being on the podcast today and just informing people about what's new on campus is and how it works and what you guys really put out there. It's you guys do some amazing things. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us.